how big is New York City? Well, that depends on if you're talking just one borough or all five of them or maybe any number of them, because the answer could change depending on that. Because it could go from the size of a small island to the size of a few bigger islands. Um, it's a very tightly packed space. That much I can say. As you may have seen me say or heard me say before, I've lived in New York City for almost nine years now. And there's always that question of, like, what makes a New Yorker a New Yorker. I've heard arguments that it's five years. I've heard arguments that it's ten years. Maybe it depends on, like, how, what you've experienced and how you've experienced and all that stuff. My boyfriend likes to use the example from How, do I, how I Met Your Mother as a way to tell, like, if you've been a New Yorker. It's a funny episode. I recommend watching it if you haven't. And one of the cool things about living in New York City is that you get to impart your wisdom of living in one of the most expensive places in the country to other people. And a common reaction I tend to get when I tell people I live in New York City, they're like, wow, that's cool. Or they seem like so impressed with that for some reason. And I guess if you really think about it, I wouldn't blame them because it's an expensive place to live. <laughs> it's really difficult to find a place with decent rent because the rent is too damn high. And there's millions of people Maybe millions, I don't know. There's a big number of people packed in a very small space. So, it's sort of difficult, but also exciting. And yeah, people will visit for all the touristy stuff, like Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, the World Trade Center. But here's one of the benefits of knowing somebody who lives in the city, okay? Here's, at least from what I would like if I knew somebody living here, and I didn't live here myself. You have someone who knows all of the not-so-touristy spots. You know someone who knows, possibly, the good local foods. Um, they know some of the etiquette of the city way better than anybody else, and maybe they also know the subway system better than anyone else. Which, to be completely honest, the New York City subway system is a bit overwhelming at first, but... If you're able to eventually navigate that subway system, you could probably navigate any subway system in the country, because the others I've seen so far are way simpler and much, much smaller. The other benefit of the New York City subway system is that it runs 24-7, even though at night it doesn't really function as often, I guess. Like, and what I mean is, like, the, the trains don't arrive as often. It takes a little bit longer to get home by then. And same for weekends, weekdays, and anytime there's these weird construction things. But it operates all the time. Because in other cities, I know Boston for sure, their subway system, or, you know, train system, it doesn't run 24-7. It stops after, like, 1 or 2 in the morning, I think. And then it doesn't run again for at least, like, a few hours. But, no, MTA, 24-7. Not only that, but there's so many cabs. So many cabs. And Ubers and Lyfts and Vias and Juno and whatever. On top of that, you also get to experience some of the stuff in like the outer boroughs that you know the you find you might be able to find like the little hole in the wall restaurants or you might be able to find the smaller locations like the little shops that may have a specialized interest that is kind of unique to New York City. And all in all, from what I've experienced, that if you can survive here in New York City. You could probably survive almost anywhere, because, like I said, it's not easy. And it does take a lot. It's a very convenient place where there's a lot of things that you could possibly do. It is hard to get bored, at least completely bored, unless you just don't know what you want to do. But in my personal experience, it's totally worth it, because I like being here. <laughs> it's a good place to get acting work, when you can get it, even though there's, like, so many actors living here. But at the same time, there's a lot of creative people who are making shows, who are doing films, TV shows, and things like making web series, independent films. It's, there's so many opportunities and so many actors. So there's a lot of variety of what you can find around here. It's not L.A. Hollywood, but it's pretty good anyway, because in New York City, transportation is pretty easy to find. I mean, you could have a car in the city, but frankly, if, especially if you live in Manhattan or work in Manhattan, I don't recommend having a car in Manhattan because it's 
goddamn near impossible to drive around there in most parts of the day. And finding parking is difficult and expensive because you got your parking garages, you got your parking spots, um, the whole um, parking system is kind of a mess. And basically, it's it's worth it if you live in the outer boroughs like Queens, Brooklyn, um, the Bronx, maybe Staten Island. It's also useful if you want to travel out somewhere, like to go visit family or go to Long Island or whatever, like drive to the Rockaways. But if you live in the heart of New York City, it's actually worth not having a car, which for me, not having a driver's license, makes my life a bit easier and slightly less stressful. And before you ask, I honestly don't think I'm going to get my driver's license anytime soon because anxiety. Ha. I don't mind riding in cars, but driving them and being responsible for it, it's a, it's a bit overwhelming for me. That's why I never got it. And when you're in LA, you kind of need a car. So I'm okay with being somewhere where I don't need a car. And it saves me a lot of money on cabs and Ubers. Also, LA traffic, from what I heard, is fucking terrible. So... Why would you want to deal with that? I could probably go on about all the things of being, I guess, a New Yorker or somebody who lives in the New York City area. All the different things like the what we deal with, what bothers us, and all that other stuff. I might save that for another video, but uh, my original plan was to let this one be like, Hey, give me some ask me questions that I can give you terrible advice on with living in New York City. But I didn't really get much response to it, so there's not a lot I can use for this, like, for now, um, but if you would like that, if you'd like me to make something like that, leave a comment below, leave a comment on my social media, maybe, um, I'll probably post on Twitter, like, somewhere, hey, this is a thing, um, I'll bring back an old tweet I did and ask about that, if you want to, let me know, because I really want to make something like this, because I think it would be funny. And maybe any of you guys that live in New York City or live in the area or know people who live in the area might find it fun. So I want, it was an idea I had and I wanted to see where it would go, you know? I'm also finally figuring out how this live stream thing is working, so I'm working on that, and along with other things in my acting career that, like, outside of content creation, that is like... I need to do better with this thing because the business side of acting is not always my strong suit because it gets overwhelming really quickly for me, so I'm trying. I'm trying my best. <laughs> and really, sometimes your best is all you could ever ask for, so... Yep. But anyway, if you have any questions that you want to ask a New York City resident that you would like me to give you shitty advice on, let me know in the comments below or in any of my social media, and I will happily use that to answer these, um, things that require ancient wisdom. <laughs> but until then, I will see you next time, and keep an eye out for my live stream schedule and other things that is happening. So, until next time, bye everyone! I don't know why I'm waving like this, but it's, I'm doing it, so you can't stop me.